actually welcome uh, to my uh, channel we are actually not fixing something to uh, today but the only thing we do um i'm just sharing the information on uh how to fix or how i fix most uh of these um uh, decoders okay firstly uh we are looking at dstv um uh, uh, dsd at uh, 3 um actually you can power it on and all the lines comes on and flashes and all goes on at the same time so the problem with this one uh, it's simple to fix this one if you have the replacement part just replace um, I see two this one just replace IC2 then the decoder uh, will be uh, will be fine so the other um, models which is 5U uh, 5S uh, if it's lightning damaged and the lights comes on a red light comes on the standby light comes on and nothing else um firstly you have to check your voltage on uh ic on the ic's uh, uh around from the power input goes to the same ic similar to this one just checked uh, the voltage on this uh, IC and the next uh, IC you will find on S uh, on 5U and 5S is a small IC somewhere somewhere around here it's um, uh, IC 14 and the next one it's IC 15 check uh, voltage on that so it's uh, actually not that much difficult to fix decoders but it's a bit tricky and the next one more thing I I, I mostly uh, mostly receive uh, water damaged uh, decoders so on those it's very simple to replay to 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 replay to repair that one the only thing you do you just reflow the main ic so most of these uh ic's on uh, uh 5u and uh, 5s they have a, a heat sink on top just remove the heat sink uh, put your soldering paste uh, reflow it then restart it so this is the um, heat sink that goes on top of the IC remove it then put your, your 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 soldering paste reflow it then plug it on so <clears throat> in most cases you'll find that after reflow it and, and everything it will need to update the software just let it uh, cool for uh, at least five to ten minutes then plug it again then update the software that's all you or 
you can do or that's all i do on most of these uh <coughs> of these uh, uh decoders the new decoders most especially so um i will uh, i'll have to uh, repair this one the customer brought it to me yesterday and i said um uh they open it because um the <coughs> lnp uh, uh lnp port it was uh it was broken so they brought it and then i fix it uh as you can see the solder that's my solder this is my solder and this thing uh, I put this thing just to protect it from connected to ground and I gave it to uh, to the uh, to the owner but because there was no cover so they took it and they plug it at ease and then they leave it on top of the table and I don't know what happened. They left the child playing uh, in that room, and then the child took a spoon and scraped all the capacitors around uh, um, around the decoder. So um, while that um, child was busy scooping uh the 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 the, uh, the capacitors he short circuited this uh uh this one um capacitor and the 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 ic uh was then damaged so i have to replace this ic then it will be fine now now